Quidditch, the sport inspired by J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter. And while the athletes can't fly, the sport's interpretation has come to life. It's not Harry Potter Quidditch. This is a sport that people have dedicated themselves to just like any other sport, practicing for basketball, practice. I mean, it's playing with our friends. And it's the same reason you play any other sport. The game is played with three quaffles, deflated volleyballs, two bludgers, kickballs, and of course the golden snitch, a tennis ball and a sock attached to a snitch runner's shorts. People are generally surprised though, that Quidditch is a real sport, but also at how physical and how intense the games are. There's so much going on and it, it really is something that is a, is a sport um, and is really athletic, but still has a really positive atmosphere to it. The sport that is flying off the pages of Harry Potter is uniting fans and the athletes alike throughout the world, defying stereotypes and gender norms throughout the Quidditch community. So isn't that where the real magic lies? It's wonderful how much passion everyone has for the sport and seeing that be spread to new people is thrilling. Cody Marshall exemplifies the passion for Quidditch. He started playing for the University of Texas where they won the Quidditch World Cup back in 2013. Pack stands, right? And uh, we've been working for it with our team, like just constant practice, going for it, going for it, going for it. And then you accomplish what you set out to do, uh, and you're the best, right, in something. You're the best in the world at something. He then played for Team USA, earning a gold medal, and is currently representing Lone Star Quidditch Club. like the best from around the nation. So people from all over the United States. Uh, and then you get to go somewhere and play against people, the best from other nations. Um, and it's just a cool experience. You know, it's just cool playing people from everywhere in the world come together to play this kind of nerdy physical sport. During his time playing for the Longhorns, his Quidditch team lit the tower. That's the highlight of my Quidditch career. More than winning uh, na uh, nationals, more than you know, Team USA, lighting up the tower because that's what all the great University of Texas athletes have done uh, since, it, since UT's been around, right? And so that was huge for me. That was the best thing, hands down. And beyond winning tournaments, Cody's won over his teammate Sarah's heart. My fiance, we met playing uh, Quidditch. Um, we won a nationals together. I've gone and watched her play with Team USA. USA! Who are we? USA! She's gone and watched me play the Team USA, and I proposed to her on the University of Texas Tower, the same one that we lit up when we won. For teammate TJ Goley, he finds inspiration from Cody. Great guy, uh, phenomenal athlete, phenomenal person. Um, he cares about this team and cares about the sport in general. Great athlete, great person. Uh, I couldn't say enough about Cody. And Executive Director Sarah Woolsey has seen Marshall's growth throughout the years. Cody's an institution in Quidditch and he's been around for years and watching him is a path that a lot of players take in learning about the sport, continuing to grow, continuing to excel and continuing to find new paths. Cody Marshall is a great guy, uh, best in the league easily. I don't know if he's going to retire, but uh, I hope not. I love Cody Marshall. Reporting in Round Rock, yeah. I'm Samantha Medney, CBS 7 News.